Hello everybody, this is Kian.Smart Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. In this video, I'm going to pair Helton Fanquil thermostat with Fibaro Home Center 3 to show you the inclusion procedure and test the compatibility of the device in Fibaro. The model I have is Z-Wave 700 series. This is Helton Fanquil thermostat. Using this model, you can control 2-pipe or 4-pipe air conditioning and or heating systems as it can control two valves. In addition, this thermostat can control fan with three speeds. Let's dive to the mission and include the device into Fibaro. In order to include Z-Wave thermostat to Fibaro home center after connecting to Fibaro, this is Fibaro UI. Click on settings on the left panel, select devices. Then click on plus sign. The device I'm going to add is Z-Wave, so I select Z-Wave device. I check network wide inclusion. Also add in security mode if device supports it. I increase the duration time to 100 seconds by clicking on the start adding Fibaro enters into inclusion mode or, or let's say learning mode. While Fibaro is in learning mode by entering the device into inclusion mode it will be added to Fibaro home center. Okay in order to include the device into inclusion mode press and hold this button for three seconds. This is parameter number one defining the Z-Wave version EU. I click on a speed to go to parameter number two. ECL means device is not added to any Z-Wave network. While we are in parameter number two I touch plus button device enters into inclusion mode and it will be added to Fibar. Wait till configuration finishes. Configuration is done. I navigate to dashboard. Before continuing, we have some issues as you see temperature sensor does not show the value and humidity number is not showing correctly i cut off the power then i connect the power again z-wave 700 series helton fanquent thermostat is added to fibaro i open or let's say i select the device You can see we have set mode. You can set thermostat to heat, cool, auto, fan, auto changeover, energy heat, energy cool. After selecting the mode or changing the temperature set points, you should click on set. Heat mode, cool mode are obvious. Auto mode in this device means time schedule. You can schedule thermostat by time using its buttons. And by selecting auto, thermostat is set to running schedules. Fan is a ventilation. As you see, Immediately I click on set, thermostat mode is set. Auto change over, both heating and cooling are active. Energy heat and energy cool are echo mode of the thermostat. In front of heating, we can set heating set point. In front of cooling, we can set cooling set point temperature. 
auto change over is related to set point of auto change over and energy save heating is related to echo mode of thermostat in heating here we can set the echo save heating set point do not forget to click set also using fibaro home center we can set fan mode to low you can see the speed of fan in thermostat display and also auto auto high auto medium and auto low means setting fan speed to auto here we have thermostat state at the moment it's cooling also we have fan state in fever fan is running or running low let's change the settings of the thermostat using its button i increase the set point after a few seconds fibaro shows that let's change the speed of the fan You see a few seconds later Fibaro shows that. Let's change the mode. Fibaro shows that. So this device is fully compatible in Fibaro. I also tested this device in Fibaro Home Center 3 Lite. It is fully compatible. The thermostat has temperature sensor, light sensor, and humidity sensor. The brightness of the display can be changed based on light of the environment. Also, you can change the brightness in settings of thermostat. This thermostat supports different operating modes. Calm means comfort time is related to enabling different scheduled temperature set points per time and day as we talked about it in fibaro by setting the thermostat to auto time mode is enabled echo is economy mode energy saving mode and off operating mode disables this device also can show how much energy you have used the device the thermostat has a built-in power consumption system uh, so you can find out how much energy you used during any particular day week or month you should just specify the consumption of the load in watts for each relay channel and the thermostat logic will calculate total consumption relative to the time since the output was in the on state talking about the wiring or terminals of the thermostat as you see n is related to neutral l is related to connecting hot wire this thermostat has two different input sources this input is related to output one two three this input source is for fan speed this input source is related to output four and five related to controlling valves thank you for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already you can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.